Are Christians outlaws? Interesting little question here. Um, I'm sure that some people down through the centuries have thought that we were. Um, you have Acts chapter 4 here, my little Bible, and uh, the council comes together and they're angry, the religious you know, leaders, organized religion leaders, they're angry at uh, Peter and John, and it says here, Acts chapter 4, verse 13, Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, I love that one, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. Um, religious, organized religious people consider people like me uh, to be unlearned and ignorant. They'll accuse us of, of, us of that. And then if you have too much education, you learn too much, then they'll say, much learning doth make thee mad, like they did with the Apostle Paul. <laughs> it's kind of funny. You can't win either way. But uh, the point I want to try to make here in this is modern Christians, again, one of the things that they don't understand is that they don't understand the quote-unquote outlaw nature of true Bible-believing Christianity. Now, let me just clarify right up front outlaw would mean you're without law just to be very simple the outlaws of the old west you think about that well they're just running from the police and whatever else um they were without law well that's not what christians are but lost people pass wicked laws that go against the scriptures and we can't follow them say so they say you're an outlaw you're not following what we told you to do and in acts chapter 4 you go on down through there and it gets to the point where they're saying, you know, by what authority are you doing these things? You know, are you ordained? Are you clergy? Are you licensed? And whatever else. And they go on to say, you know, we ought to obey God rather than men. And, you know, you have to remember, too, that those early Christians were put in prison for what they were doing. They were beaten with rods for what they were doing. doing. And when they were in prison, what happened? Jesus Christ himself, the angel of the Lord, came and broke them out of prison. He didn't say to them, hey, go out and get a good lawyer now and, you know, I'll just do this and you can, you know, I'll send you a good lawyer. No. Go on out. Go run from these people. You see, there are times when the court systems are corrupt and the law enforcement is corrupt and the politicians are corrupt. They're not supposed to be a terror to the good works, but to evil people. But unfortunately, sometimes you have tyrannical systems. You have bad things that come into play. And you just can't, you just simply have to say, I can't follow these people. I cannot submit myself to these wicked people. And um, that time has already come here in America. Uh, we learned that through the scandemic. There were a lot of things that Christians just couldn't go along with. They just, no, I'm sorry, I can't do that. But, uh, so, you know, this video is just kind of a plea to modern Christians out there. Um, you really need to study the Bible. And you need to study it apart from your little church building that you go to because the church buildings are run by the state. They really truly are. And your pastor there is a, um, a lot of them are just practicing mind control on people and come and submit yourself to the man of God and whatever. No, you submit yourself to the word of God, not the man of God. Where's that teaching at in scripture? You know, uh, New Testament Christianity, it's the priesthood of the believer. It is not some kind of ordained clergy that rules over the laity. God hates that system. So I just want to challenge people out there to look beyond um, what you're learning in these church buildings. Uh, again, there are no church buildings in the New Testament. You won't be taught that either. You won't be taught that uh, there's no such thing as a 10% tithe or Sunday best or worship music or whatever else. It's all just the creations of man. Um, and I could go off on that for quite a while. But I just wanted to put this little video out here very quickly. Rethink this idea of outlaw Christianity um, and remember read through the book of Acts on your own don't go and tell ask your pastor how to interpret the book of Acts no you read it uh, from a King James Bible don't get one of the Vatican versions either by the way the new versions that came out to replace the beloved King James Bible the you know the one that uh, won our freedom here in America that one uh, read the King James Bible for yourself and you know listen to the prompting of the Holy Spirit and learn and ask yourself an even more question and say, am I really part of this group? Would I be willing to go to prison for Jesus Christ? Would I be willing to run out of that prison if the Lord broke me out? Would I be willing to go and be a, a uh, considered an outlaw by the lost world? Or do I have to feel like I have to have the approval of the lost world, have to 
look like the lost world and act like the lost world and have the lost world like me. Uh, you're not a Christian if you do that. I can tell you that. You say, How, that's just your opinion. No, it's the it's, uh, New Testament. The New Testament uh, tells us not to be conformed to the world. So, I do hope it's been a challenge to you thinking about this. You better check yourself. Make sure that you're genuinely saved. I was a modern Christian at one point in time. Started to examine the scriptures and I realized what I'm doing has no basis in this book. And uh, I got away from it. So that is going to be it. Um, take heed to my words. Watch some of my studies to get into the more detailed scriptures. I'll put some here at the end. And uh, I feel like this. I'll put some here at the end. Um, watch those studies. Get into a lot of scripture there. Thank you for watching.